welcome back to another craft time with Pastor Maddie. Uh, we are working on our craft for uh, week number five, our last week for our follow craft, which is the last of March. And then next week we get to dive into some fun April stuff. So today uh, we've got a little bit of a bigger craft, but I think it'll be fun. We'll see how everything fits on our paper. But um, as we've been talking about in the month of March, we've been talking about following Jesus. Last week, we did a really, really fun craft where we talked about all of the disciples and how they, how when Jesus called each and every one of them, they all stopped what they were doing and said yes. There were no questions asked, nothing. They just said, yes, I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow this man. He's doing great things and I'm going to follow him and give him everything. And as we've talked about, that's how Jesus wants us to be as his children of God. So when he asks us, hey, will you come and follow me? He asks that we would be like the disciples and say, yes, Jesus, I will follow you. So today we're going to do our craft and it has to deal with our last little thing about following Jesus. And um, our thing is that no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, we can still follow Jesus. And that's what our craft is about today. So what we're gonna do is everyone is going to need uh, their little heart. Um, you can't fully see mine because I haven't cut it out yet. But our heart says, when I follow Jesus, I can love everyone. So this is gonna be a great reminder that wherever we are, when we follow Jesus, we can love everyone around us. Now, right now, things are a little different because we're all stuck at home, but we can remember that we still need to love all of those around us. So that includes our moms, our dads, and our siblings. And if you live with your grandparents, your grandparents as well, or an aunt and an uncle, whoever you're living with, you still need to love them as we follow Jesus. And when quarantine is over and we actually get to go back out and play in the world, which will be super, super fun, we know that wherever we go and whatever we're doing, because we follow Jesus, we can love everyone around us. So this is the first thing that you need. Next, you are going to need your sheets of paper. So parents, you're gonna need to get these. There should be four. You should have a playground, a church, a uh, school and a grocery store. So those are the four places that we're going to do today. And again, all of these are great reminders that no matter where, they're all very different and no matter where we are, we can love Jesus and love those around us. So you'll need that. You will also need your big piece of construction paper that I have mailed out to everybody. Um, we will see as our craft goes on how everything fits on here. It may be we have to use both sides, but we'll try and make it all fit. So uh, then of course you're going to need scissors to help cut things out. You're gonna want glue. And then last but not least to give our life color, you need either crayons or markers. Um, I might switch back and forth between both. We'll see what happens. But those are the supplies that you need. And we're gonna go ahead and dive on in and get ready. Here we go.
such a fun craft, such a great reminder that no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, we can always follow Jesus and that we can love those around us because we get to follow Jesus. Guys, it has been a fantastic March. Um, although things have been really, really different, it still has been a good month. Uh, we've been learning still a lot at home, learning how to navigate new things, getting to spend time with family. And even though life is crazy and life is different, guys, know that Jesus loves us so much. And even in the chaos, he still wants us to follow him. I'm looking forward to a fantastic April. I hope you enjoyed our craft time today, and I will see you guys next week.